Thank you, Mr. Goldberg. Ladies and gentlemen, in receiving this great honor, I take this opportunity of dedicating it publicly to three very special people who are with us this evening. To my father, the man that I love and admire the most, to Carmen, my partner and the love of my life, and to our son, Sergio, the joy of our existence. But above all, I want to dedicate it to the memory of my mother, who left this world just two short months ago. She is surely waiting with joy wherever she is now. She is still very much present in my heart. I accept this prize as a tribute to the thousands of people who work at grassroots level in Spain in defense of a new water culture. Water is the blue soul of this planet. To fight for the health of our rivers and seas is to fight for the dignity and the life of both present and future generations. During the last hundred years, we have destroyed and poisoned this blue soul. One and a half billion people have no access to decent drinking water. Millions have been forced to abandon their homes flooded by enormous dam projects. Many of our great rivers have been so degraded that they no longer run to the sea. Spain is the country that has constructed more dams per person and per square kilometer in the world. And despite that, our government is trying to impose more than 100 new dams and large-scale water diversion, flooding villages and ruining the life of thousands of people. This is the road to the unsustainable, to the brutal, and to the corrupt. Last Sunday in Barcelona, more than 200,000 people demonstrated in favor of a new water culture. It's time to finish with the barbarity of justifying destruction in the name of progress. Neither water nor oil can ever justify war. Water culture is a culture of peace. Those who think that the world order or grandiose water projects can be imposed by force or even by precision weapons that kill intelligently are wrong. Citizens of the world, feeling in our hearts the horror suffered by millions of innocent Iraqis, as well as the madness of death of women, children, and men and the madness of sending American and British soldiers to the absurdity of war, I propose you that we transform our indignation and, and pain into a permanent commitment to fight with collective intelligence for the cause of peace. For peace! <laughs> for peace between men and also for peace between mankind and this wondrous natural world that gives us life. Dear friends, citizens of the world, thank you very much. Thank you.